What is going on, you guys? It's Extreme here, and welcome back, finally, to another episode of the Road to Max Prestige podcast. And I have some explaining to do right out the gate, as, yeah, wow, it's been a while since I did the last episode. So, I'm just going to cut right to it. We have a lot of things we need to talk about in this episode. I want to get this out of the way as quickly as possible. Uh, for those of you that were here when the last episode went up, and you can, of course, find the playlist for this series, um, I think, on somewhere on my channel, I guess. Anyways, during the time from when the last episode was edited, recorded, and uploaded, and now, um, my health took a massive dump. <laughs> There's really no other way to put it, unfortunately. I have found out that uh, I need to relax a lot more. I need to lower my stress level. And if I don't, I'm looking at some pretty serious issues. I also need to start losing weight. And yeah, uh, <laughs> all of this kind of has had a massive effect on me. And just it's had an effect on my health. It's had an effect on my gaming habits. It's had an effect on my sleeping habits. It's had an effect on everything in my life and it sucks but it is what it is so that's kind of the overall thing that's been kind of preventing me from doing content which brings me to the content i have been doing nothing but destiny and i get that there's a lot of people out there that don't like destiny or are burned out on the game or aren't happy with the most recent uh, special event they did I could go on. I do want to kind of discuss the Destiny content. I want to let you guys know what's going on with my Blind Guardian series. Uh, I uploaded a couple episodes and then stopped. I can't go into specifics about it, but let's just say I may have been informed that I need to stop doing some work on that for a little while. Um, that's about all I can really say on that. Destiny content's probably going to take a small, short absence. I think you can expect to see the Blind Guardian series come back in about two weeks. Like, right before Thanksgiving, hopefully, I can start re-uploading episodes. Or not re-uploading, but continuing where we left off. I still have, like, one or two episodes, I think, from the last recording session I did months ago that I need to get up. And... Uh, that's going to probably be the primary Destiny content. Ooh, wow. Uh, Destiny content on my channel going forward. And then once that series ends, I've got some ideas for things I want to do um, as well. But for those of you that do enjoy the Borderlands content that I have done, I'm going to be bringing Borderlands back here pretty soon, Like uh, I'm going to be playing with two of my friends. Um, you'll get to know them as Joe and Suko. And that'll be going up here sometime in the next two weeks. I'm not 100% sure. I do know that I'm going to be bringing Borderlands content back. There was obviously a demand for it. You guys enjoyed the stuff I do. And I just want to clarify something. A lot of what I've been doing isn't going to continue outside of the Blind Guardian series and this series. I'm going to start doing more of edited type content. Um, I want to start having fun with the videos I'm putting up and I want you guys to enjoy this content I don't want it to be just the simple oh I recorded some gameplay I talked over it here's what you get you know I want it to be I don't know I, I want it to be more than what it is and that goes kind of back to where have I where have I been what have I been up to why haven't I been uploading content um, besides the health reasons I just don't like the direction my channel's been going in you guys at all and I don't like the content I'm putting up now. A lot of it is pretty much the same shit, just a different game. And I'm kind of done with that. Like, you know, I want to continue doing those type of things. But I also want to start doing, like I said, more edited content. And that is something I've been wanting to do for a while. I just never got around to doing it. So there is going to be uh, a Borderlands series that will probably be weekly episodes. I don't know if I'm going to do more than that. Um, 
I'm not sure a hundred percent just yet. I'm kind of tinkering with the ideas. And I do know I want to do more of like a character based series where I act like a total dipshit or goofball or something, you know, really amp up the volume, if you will, step out of just being myself and kind of be a character for a little bit, have some fun. And I'm thinking of doing that with Warframe. So I got a lot of ideas. Nothing is concrete. Borderlands content is coming back very soon. Like Destiny content will return in a few about two weeks hopefully and we'll continue from then on yeah i want to get that blind guardian series done but there's just so much to do in the game man like god i i honestly enjoy destiny i understand a lot of people don't but i do enjoy the game and i want to share that experience with you guys especially the blind guardian series i've had a ton of fun making that thing hopefully it's something a lot of you guys enjoy i mean when you play a game with no HUD, the experience is so much more different. You don't get to rely on the same things you're used to. You really have to pay attention to everything. Like you have to pay attention to your health in a different way. You have to pay attention to the ammo in your weapons. You have to pay attention to every brick you pick up. You know, all of it. it it's it's kind of crazy how much you really have to truly immerse yourself in the game and know the game very well to get through shit so that's a thing um but yeah so new content is coming a lot of new stuff hopefully most of it will be edited in a in a way to best i don't know i don't want to say illustrate or you know put out there with a vision for it i do know that i talked about doing this a while back at least i think i did where I wanted to do a Borderlands series where I took my overpowered character, the Gunzerker I have, and playing with my buddies, let them play through the game and then kind of just chime in when they need someone to just mow shit down and just act a fool while I'm doing it. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing, and hopefully this is something you guys will enjoy. I'm looking forward to having fun with it, because at the end of the day, I play video games to have fun, and hopefully that's why you play them too, you know? So, anywho... um. So yeah, a bunch of other things have happened. As you guys know, we got a new Call of Duty. Obviously, as you can see from the gameplay, we, you know. By the way, speaking of the gameplay, uh, I forgot to mention this earlier. <laughs> yeah. So, as of this recording, as of recording this more specifically, I have left in the game audio, but I may end up taking it out. I'm telling you this because, unfortunately, when I recorded the next couple episodes worth of content um yeah i may have forgotten to lower my settings a little bit and unfortunately the game audio has music and it's louder than it should be and yeah that's bad that's like really really bad so i have to be very careful with that at this point in time um so yeah uh i, I don't yeah i don't know if i'm gonna leave the audio in i'm debating dramatically you have no idea Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy uh, the gameplay. Again, if you're here purely for the gameplay, you're here for the wrong reasons. Just saying. Um, so yeah. All right, update stuff is done. Let's talk about Infinite Warfare. Let's talk about some other stuff. We got a new president here in the United States. Well, we will in January. And God damn it, it's not the guy I wanted. Hell, to be honest, I didn't vote. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say that right now. I didn't vote. Um, Either way, if I could have, for very specific reasons, I couldn't, uh, as in, I fucked up and didn't register in time, so, oops. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Either way, it doesn't seem like it would have mattered. Um, I wasn't planning to vote for any of the candidates. I was planning to vote for, like, Mick Foley or some shit. Not gonna lie about it. I did plan to vote on a couple of the propositions here in California that were going, including Prop 64. If you don't know what Prop 64 is, Prop 64 legalized the use of marijuana in California, which, for those of you that don't know, as of right now, marijuana use is legal. However, there are some technicalities. One, you can use it. You can't be fired from your job for having marijuana in your system as of now. 
uh, you can still be arrested for smoking out in public. Thank God, because I hate the smell of weed and I can already see it being a regular thing as soon as this law officially becomes law. Um, it can't be sold outside of dispensaries and only to uh, clinical patients, if you will. Um, there's a lot of technicalities to the law, but as of right now, it is legal to use marijuana in California. You just can't buy it. You can't sell it legally. Uh, what else? You can't use it out in public. And if you do get impaired or dry or get caught driving while under the influence of marijuana, you're looking at a less than stiffer penalty than when this law goes in effect. When the law goes in effect, the penalty for being caught driving under the influence is pretty bad. Uh, apparently, you're actually going to be a lot more screwed if you're caught, you know, being high while driving. I don't know. I didn't fully understand the, the wording for the, the law, but apparently they're going to treat it kind of the way you would be treated if you're drinking and driving. The only difference is you can't be drunk in public, but you can be high in public. That's that's a weird side thing. You know, as long as you're walking around, not driving, it's fine, I guess. So uh, whatever. Um, it is what it is. I guess there's not much I can say. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of, of marijuana use. I'm not thrilled about it. I have friends and family that smoke it. I don't really care. Uh, teach their own. Whatever helps them get through the day without going insane or doing something stupid, I'm all for. It's just not for me. I, I hate the smell. I'm allergic to the smoke, which is not a very common thing people hear about. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, never tried it officially. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a story behind that. So, yeah, uh, me and, and we do not get along, but I don't have anything against anyone that uses so long as you don't use it around me, you know. But yeah, the the prop getting legalized is it, it's it's good to see it. But the real thing that I'm excited for is the fact that uh, you can now grow hemp. And for those of you that don't understand, hemp is used in so much shit. California is a very agricultural based, you know, state, and this means jobs this means money this means good shit for the state as a whole which means taxes might go down if this thing brings in enough money so who knows you know it could be very good it could be very bad we'll find out but speaking of good and bad oh lord oh lord so I am. Um, <laughs> I'm not thrilled with the fact that Donald Trump has been voted as our new next president. Whatever. I'm not a fan of the guy. Um, I didn't like the way he campaigned, but how you campaign has no direct reaction or response to how you will be as president. As of now. He's, his attitude in the public eye has changed dramatically. He went from this loud, vocal, boisterous bastard of a human being to a very subdued, respectful, polite. And I'm wondering how much of that is, you know, certain people saying, hey, 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 you're now the president. You can't be that guy no more. That guy's gone now. But regardless, if he does half of what he says he's going to do, he should do a good job. I mean, at the end of the day, if he really fucks up, you can always remove him from office. He can be voted out of office. He can be removed if he does some bad shit. But so many people, and this is, like, here's the thing. I want to finish my, my thoughts and opinions on Donald Trump as the president of the United States, but I have a second thing I need to discuss regarding the results of this election. And we will get into that because there's a lot of shit. So Donald Trump, he is the new president. I am nervous because I'm afraid he's going to do something stupid. But being a verbal, vocal jackass doesn't necessarily mean you're going to act on a lot of the things you say 
Um, and I know this firsthand as my brother is very much like him. He's very bolsterous and vocal and his bark is bigger than his bite. Okay. So who knows? Um, I'm genuinely hopeful that Donald Trump does an amazing job. Um, as far as the overall aspect of politics, I don't really care. I've had the last nine months of my life have been just, I, I never got into politics until the last nine months and I fucking am done. I don't want to talk about politics after this. I will avoid the subject matter immensely, but I wanted to share my thoughts and opinions on him being elected. Like I said, I'm nervous because I, the, the unknowns with how he acts and acted during his campaign, but I am hopeful because he does have a lot of strong intentions and he does have plans right out the gate to do amazing things once he officially is sworn into office come January. So if he does the things he says he's going to do, minus a few of them, I'm cool. I'm cool with it. You know, yes, he's not the greatest potential, but none of the candidates are, or were, sorry. Not a single one of the candidates for president were a viable, good candidate. We had a hippie. We had an, uh, some sort of psychotic whack job. You had Donald Trump, and then you had Hillary Clinton. I would talk badly about Hillary Clinton, but I really can't. Um... People have their opinions of all the candidates. Me personally, I was going to vote for Mick Foley. I've done it every single time I've voted. I always, it's just, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I vote for Mick Foley every time. If you don't know who Mick Foley is, look him up. Um, so, yeah. That being said, while I wasn't too, like, freaked out and upset and, and shocked and alarmed and psyched out or whatever, apparently... A lot of people were. As some of you may have heard, there was riots in Los Angeles over the fact that Hillary Clinton did not win the presidency. There were altercations significantly out in the country from people so angry that Donald Trump is now the president. He's not the president yet, folks. He still has two months before he officially takes office. And when he does, keep this in mind. He will now have the power legally to, to actually do something about the things that have happened. Case in point, so many college kids, oh my God, Hillary isn't president. We, we don't need to take tests anymore. We need to have pizza and be taken care of and coddled up. Seriously, this actually happened. Certain schools, universities in at least California that I know of, coddled the students who were so distraught over Hillary Clinton not being voted president. Are you fucking kidding me? Children, you're adults. Grow up. There are more important things in the world to worry about in your day-to-day -day life than Hillary Clinton not being president. Donald Trump isn't the number one guy. He is not the president we needed, but he is the president we have. Nobody else of, of capability ran. At least that's what it seems like. The reality is the Democratic and Republican parties chose their nominees. These are the nominees they gave us. These are the nominees we voted on. This is the president we have. Deal with it. If you genuinely have a problem with the outcome of this election, over the next four years, you're going to see people starting to come up. You're going to see people announce their, their candidacy for president. Do me a favor. Be proactive if you really don't want this to happen again the only way to avoid it is to vote is to be an active member of the political campaigns and the, the the whole situation and yada 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 i will continue to do what i do play video games eat cheetos and fuck hot chicks okay maybe that last one was a lie but regardless <laughs> but i will still fuck a lot um that is true uh regardless so in all sincerity it, this this story really pissed me off. The, the the riots, the the fact that people are calling out of work, are using this situation as an excuse to be quote unquote distraught. There are men and women on foreign soil 
our feather, our fellow countrymen who are dying, getting shot at. For what? So you can sit at home and cry about the fact that Hillary Clinton isn't president. Boo fucking who? Grow up. Am I thrilled Donald Trump's president? No. Am I making excuses for why I can't get out of my life and go on with my life? No. You know what I did the morning I found out Donald Trump was president? Because I went to bed, woke up, he's president. Da -da -da. This is the world we live in now. Okay, cool. Life goes on. I got up. I played video games. I get, did some work. I hung out with my family. Spent some time with my, my nieces and my nephew. That's it. That was my day. Also wasn't feeling all that great. But regardless, that's the world we live in, folks. Get over yourselves. Oh my god. Hillary, fuck you. Who cares? She wasn't going to win one way or the other. I hate to admit it. I, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this, folks. <laughs> From what I understand, Trump was not going to, succeed, to secede unless it was like... <laughs> unanimous that Trump did not win the and that's not the case as you can see Donald Trump won Hillary Clinton didn't it sucks a lot of people didn't want her in office a lot of people didn't trust her for what many people have pointed out are very good reasons I don't have an opinion on it I really don't so it is what it is but the fact that so many people got so oh my god I all you millennial, millennial fucks out there that act like spoiled brats, I want to strangle you. I want to grab you by the throat, slam you against the wall, bash your face in until you realize this is the world you live in. You don't get to be coddled all the fucking time because your balls haven't dropped or your boobs haven't come in or you just had your first period. Get over yourselves. Stop acting like children. You're not a fucking child. These are grown-ass adults acting like spoiled fucking brats. That pissed me off more than Donald Trump being elected president. That pissed me off more than the riots that happened after Donald Trump was announced as president. Come on, folks. First of all, the riots in and of itself, are you serious? That was completely unnecessary. As much as I hate to say this, give the man a chance. He campaigned a certain way. What he did in his campaign, yeah, I didn't like it. What came out during his campaign, yeah, I didn't like it. But that was the campaign. Let's see what the man does now that he has the title. If he fucks up, let's get rid of him. Put somebody else in his place. But if he does a good job, four years time I might actually make sure I got my registration shit done on time and I may go vote and I might want to have him for another four years but let's see what he does over the next four give him a chance moving on because I need to talk about anything other than this and I'm serious unless something really important comes out over the next few weeks I'm not going to talk about this again uh I've talked about it enough over the last year. I'm done. We're moving on. We're going to talk about other things. And let's talk about something I want to talk about. Let's talk about the new Call of Duty. The very Call of Duty you are watching in the gameplay on your screen. Thank you, by the way, for checking out this episode of the Road to Max Prestige podcast. If you could, it would help me out a lot if you liked, shared, or favorited this video. Yeah, I would appreciate it immensely. Hopefully you've enjoyed what I've talked about so far. I have a short-term review of Infinite Warfare that I would like to do. I call it a short-term review because the game has only just come out. As of this recording, the game has been out for just under a week. As in, literally in about three hours, the game will have been out for a full week. And I'm enjoying the fuck out of this game. I can't say I was this excited last year or the year before. I enjoyed those games, but I wasn't this excited for the future of the game. I can't wait to get on and play. I can't wait to play zombies. I can't wait to play the campaign and I damn sure cannot wait to play multiplayer. I am enjoying this game. A lot of people don't like it. I do. It incorporates a lot of what I liked from Black Ops 3 and from Advanced Warfare and of course from the more traditional Call of Duties with boots on the ground. 
do you see a lot of boots on the ground? I mean, watch the gameplay. How many of these gunfights do you see me get in where the guy is jumping around? And th yeah, granted, this is early on in the life of the game, but we've had Black Ops 3 for a full year. We've had Advanced Warfare for over two years. Motherfuckers ain't jumping around. Like, you don't see it that much. You really don't. And I don't know if this is going to continue as we go forward. I hope this is a, a trend that continues because I enjoy it. Right now, I'm enjoying this game. If they do anything to change the way the game currently is, then I'm going to be like I was last year and the year before. But we'll see. Um, but I'm enjoying the game. And... I want to focus this particular sh review of the game on the campaign. I will talk about multiplayer more when I've played more of it. I will talk more about zombies when I've played more of it. But I want to talk about the campaign because the very first thing I do every year when the new Call of Duty comes out is I play the campaign. It's been a ritual I have done since Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I never played the original game when it came out. When Modern Warfare COD 4 came out, I didn't play the campaign because I didn't get the game until right before World at War had come out. Um, and even then, I played mostly the campaign of World at War than I did anything else. But I, my first Call of Duty that I played when it came out was uh, Modern Warfare 2. And so when that game came out, the very first thing I touched was the campaign. I, I didn't play a whole lot of it but I played through at least a third of it, and then I jumped on a multiplayer to play with my friends. The very next year, I didn't do that. I played literally the campaign first and foremost. I didn't touch multiplayer, and that has been the trend ever since. This year was no different. I dove right into the campaign and was immediately floored with the detail, with the storytelling, with the interactive nature, with the cutscenes. This campaign, while I loved the way you built attachments to the ship and to your character and to the other characters in the game, I feel like not enough was put in to the directions it needed to be. Case in point, I didn't really feel like I needed to kill the enemies like the bad guys, the big bad guys. I didn't have that hate and disdain for them. I hated them, but not enough to be like, eh, he deserves to die. It's more like, eh, kinda, you know what, let's just give him justice. Let's give him justice, I guess, you know. And that's the thing. In past Call of Duties, you got to know the villain very well. But that's not too real and I guess that's kind of where they were going with this is they were more focused on the realism of things you don't get to know your enemy uh, very well uh, you don't get to see that side of the situation very often and in this instance that's exactly what happened here I mean go back to COD 4 you didn't really get to know the enemy like you really didn't you kind of had an idea who the enemy was but you didn't really find out who the enemy was until the very end and even then you didn't really have an attachment to killing the enemy. So from that standpoint, I now understand why they re-released, you know, COD 4 with this game. And I will be talking about the remaster in another episode. But um, I really, really enjoyed the campaign. Um, I enjoyed the fact that you got to play with a lot of the futuristic weapons. Uh, I wish... Of what you saw in the campaign I wish more of it translated to multiplayer um, I wish there was more of that zero G kind of sit, like combat in multiplayer I understand why it's not there but it would be nice to see it um, so I guess if I were to rate this game and give it an overall rating I guess um, <laughs> I say I guess a lot damn it anyways if I were to rate this game a certain way I always like to do it two ways one would I recommend it and two will I play it again the answer to both is yes I would absolutely play the campaign of infinite warfare again and I most definitely would recommend it I enjoyed the campaign a lot it was a lot of fun I think I've made that clear by now so absolutely yes I would recommend this game I will be playing it again 
I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the experience for what it was. It wasn't the same campaign that we had in Black Ops 3, but it was good enough, you know. I liked how they did the custom, uh, you know, create a class type feature for the campaign. I think they did it well, and they did it well enough to where I want to play it again. So that's my recommendation. If you are deciding whether or not to buy this game, and you're like me and you like to play the campaign, I recommend you get it. I will recommend you play it, and I will recommend you play every difficulty that they make available to you, especially the specialist. And if you really want the challenge, try YOLO. I haven't gotten there yet. I've heard it is kind of challenging, um, so that's a thing. Anyways, you guys, that's about all the time I have for this week. And I want to go ahead and say this right now. If you guys have any ideas for things you would like to see me talk about in the next episode, let me know down in the comments below. I really kind of want to know what you guys want to hear my thoughts and opinions on. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do more game reviews over the next year. Speaking of which, the next game I plan to review in a few weeks' time will be the uh, Enzo or Enzio collection for Assassin's Creed that gets a come that comes out this Tuesday. So if you're thinking about checking that out, check it out. Um, I will be doing a review on it when I get a chance to. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to hit that like, share, or favorite button. It helps me out a lot. Also, if you're new around here, subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Until then, as always, adios.